You know, just to think of how far this character has gone in the span of a year. She came out in uh, 2019, just last year. And it speaks wonders of the writer, James Tynion, that in the span of a year, he gets Batman. He got Batman because of Erica Slaughter, because he created this book. That's why he's writing Batman right now. That's how good this book is. So you get the Batman title. One of the three marquee books on the planet. Spider-Man, Batman, Superman's number three. Um, but that speaks wonders for this book. Nine of them. I got ten from Midtown Comics. But... Um, Nine of them, uh, I looked all of them over. Nine of them are looking really great. The tenth has a little bit of a spine fold. And that one I'm going to be sending out. So these are going to be pre-screen. So it's going to be a 25 book pre-screen lot. 25 book um, CCS press and clean and slab lot. Okay, so... These are nine on the pre-screen, and then the rest of the 25 are, this is the Walmart Spider-Man Noir, which is starting to, to get hot. I am not tied to this character at all like I am tied to that. That I'm tied to big time, holding on to that for a long time. All right, um, this one I'm not. This one will be sold. I'm not tied to Spider-Man Noir. I love my Spider-Man. But, um, you know, it's going to be a quick flip for me. Hopefully, it'll come back at a 9.8. I looked this one over. Unlike most Walmart variants, though, or, or Walmart books, this one actually looks pretty, pretty nice. Most of them need, like, um, like presses because I'll show you some more that came in. Um, but this one will make 10 I'll try this Dr. Afra number 19. I got that uh, off of uh, Thoreau's. Uh, uh, what is that right there? No, 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 no. That's on the plastic. Okay. Uh, this this is uh, from uh, Thoreau's. Uh, Keeping it thorough. He was talking about this one. I'm not big into Star Wars, though. I'm not big into Star Wars. So this is going to be a flip. I got it for, I think, 20 bucks. So I'm definitely looking to flip that one. That's 11. Um, Thor, I got multiple copy, copies of this. This came from the PC. That's 12. This one I got from Dark Side. And that'll be 13. This is the trade dress. Uh, and I believe this one was limited. Was it 1,500 or 3,000? But it is a limited, um, a limited variant. I believe this was KRS Comics too, but um, that's going to be a flip. That one came, that one came with the Legends of the Dark Knight, uh, with a lot that I bought with Legends of the Dark Knight. And these, these are going to be some variants for the Gold Lantern. No, 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 that's not the Gold Lantern. I'll show you the Gold Lantern uh, before. No, this was Sunny. That's right. This is uh, Batman The Adventures Continues number two. And this is a variant for the first Sunny. Don't know how that character is going to do. But these are nice looking books. There's five of them here. And they are going to be pre-screened. Uh, the other ones are... The boys. I don't know if you guys have seen the boys, man. I just we just finished watching episode number four. Man, that is such a great show. Better than anything that any other company has ever put out on television and in the movies, I will add too, because if you really come think about it, most Marvel movies they really are dirt. They they they're like garbage. I I, I can't stand most of them, you know? I don't know if I'm going to send this pre-screen. Come to think about it, now that I'm looking at it, I might end up choosing a different book. This might need a pressing and a cleaning. 
And even then, I don't know who. Oh, my. Yeah, I didn't see that. So you don't see that. Is that part of the book or? Hmm. Got to look that over. I don't know. Should I? This is limited to 6,000 copies. But. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know about this one now. Definitely won't be pre-screen. I'm going to I'm going to probably add another um gold lantern instead of this one. Putting this one out. All right. So gold lantern is here. Uh it's fixed very fast. I'll send the uh, firepower free comic book day. Yeah. It'll get replaced with that. What the heck? It's a free comic anyway. And I'll sell it because anything that's Hickman is uh, Kirkman is actually um um pretty hot. So even though this was this was a freebie that came with one of the other comics that I ordered. And um it was a freebie for them too because they picked it up a free comic book day. I'll send this one in, see if that that, that hits. And I'm going to send the other five variants that came. And these are the horn variants for the trade dress. Um, these were limited, if I remember correctly. It was 3,000 that they were limited to. And that's going to be the 25 pre-screen. And these will be the uh, 25 press and grade lot. Press, clean, and grade lot. Instead of 10 of these, I was going to send 10. I'm going to send 11. I will send the um, 11th from the collection that I that I had, which is 10 of them. I have not found the other, the other 9. But um, this would be the 11th. That's going to be pressed and cleaned. This one I don't think needs too much. But... Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe it does. But this one's going to... Yeah, it does. Yes, it does indeed. Where is it at? Right there. Right there. Hmm. Okay. That's 11 on that. <laughs> yeah, you know it, man. Newsstand, 365. This will not be a 9.8. At least I don't think so. Um, the only reason is because of that. Now that hap you see that a lot in this in this issue, okay? Because of the cardstock. All right. Um, but right here on the corner, and I'm actually just looking for a 9.4 here. It's got a little ding right there, right there. I'm only looking for a 9.4 for this. If I can get a 9.4, it'll be all worth it. No. Um, didn't pay too much for these. So, that's 12. This is the one that has the spine roll. You can't really see it too well. Right there, you might be able to see a little bit. Uh, right there, see? Spine roll little bit of spiral a pressing should fix that make this baby a 9.8 now when I do my my um, my CGC um, uh, pressings I do the $12 press not the $8 press I think they they take their time more with the um, with the $12 press than they do with the uh, with the regular one uh, so I, th I think it's worth it to spend the extra four dollars and get the best quality book of course this one I sent in and it got rejected this was one of the rejections from the um, uh, from the first pre-screen for the from the pre-screen that I did today so this one will be pressed and clean looking at least for a 9.4 when all is said and done Yes, this is the Italian version. Yes, this is Ultimate Comics number 11. But also, yes, this is a uh, DeGergevic cover. Still is his cover. And um, it's still pretty, man. Yeah, it's not going to be a $10,000 book. 
but it is it's still going to have some value and um, as time goes by I think you're going to see these books also gain in value not like the uh, the original the uh, American version but they will hold uh, in my opinion tremendous value uh, when it comes to this book right uh, let me go over here so Wilbert has said look because I had found, and, and it, I mean, it's a good, it, it, it's it's a good analogy, I think, but um, uh, maybe that's the wrong word, but uh, an observation, I will call it an observation, all right, yes, I found 30 of these, and I have 10 more, that makes it 40, and all 40 of them will be going to CGC to get graded. All 40 of them will go to CGC to get graded. All right. There's only 365 of these babies graded in CGC. 132, I believe, are graded 9.8. And there's supposedly 17,300 and change of these books in existence. Supposedly. Supposedly. I think it's much less than that. I've I've explained my reasons why before, all right? But when you take a book like that and you take a book like this, American version I'm talking about, this one, supposedly, there's around 3,000 of these, 2,900 of these in existence. But CGC has almost 600 graded, 597 if I'm correct, graded of this book in the American version. There are more 9.8s in this book than there are in that book. If I were to get 20 9.8s in, in, in all of my 40, which I will not. I will not have 20 9.8s. But if I were to get 20 9.8s, it would be about equal 9.8s of this book that there are supposedly 3,000 of, 2,900 of. Uh, and they would still be total in that 365 right now. Add my 40, they'll have total. Uh, be, because of my 40, it's going to go up to 400. Or it's going to be over 400 when all is said and done and I've, and, and I've sent my, my, my books to get graded. It's going to be um, over 400 of the Blue Marvels after mines are done uh, on CGC census right um but the 9.8 and, and this one already 600 so even even with my 40 is 200 it, it's it's around 200 less of that that would be for the ultimate fallout and there's obviously going to be more sent in in that time frame and all that but what i'm saying is that yes i found 40 of them there's not too many of those. When all is said and done, there are not too many of those out there. You don't see them. You don't see them. Even you, you have to go to eBay to see them because people are finding them, boom, putting them in and sending them to CGC. And the grades are not coming in. It's about a 33%, 9.8% on that. Um, and uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm really, I mean, I'm really loving that. I'm loving that book as much as I love this book. As I've said before, Ultimate Fallout Newsstand, number four, that's the one that's going to be, in my opinion, the big the big boy book. And that's the one that I've been trying to get. And I will have more on that transaction, by the way, uh, soon. But anyway, um, so anyway, this one is another one getting, this one will be pressed, right? Uh, yeah, I'm going to send this one out. I did look at that. That is not the book. That's actually part of the artwork. And it's not on the, um, it's not on the other one. It's not on the other print. But that is part of the artwork. I had to look at that really well. It's part of the artwork. Sending that in. Will be pressed. This is a Walmart. This is one that came from the Walmarts. But... I'm sending three of those in, but it has um, it has some defects that I think can be pressed out. 
Um, and that's because they come in these bags that press the books and and they can cause major damage but it, they don't they don't have major damage i think with a with a press and a clean there'll be uh, all three of these that i'm sending in are going to be uh, actually yeah three to get press are going to be 9.8 i hope and this is the other one another one of these strange academy number one walmart and hopefully this will be a 9.8 as well okay and then here's the books right so what i like to do when i have cgc press my books is i like sending slabs in so that they know that i'm using their services right um and i also when i send the slabs i want them to crack it so that they can see it um and they can see what the issues are with these slabs this is an older slab you saw me get this book i bought this book on um on ebay for 70 dollars, i think and i mean like total cost with shipping and all that was in the 90s but um this is a one in 25 variant for justice league 31 and this is the first even though it doesn't say it here i hope it comes back with it uh, jessica cruz full jessica cruz all right so that one's going to be sent in to get now i'm going to send this one originally i showed this one in another video and i was not going to send this one to get graded to get um um to get to get re-slabbed and and pressed none of these have been i should say none of these have been pressed i don't think that's been pressed because it's got an older label that one I, that one wasn't mine. I didn't slab these. Most of these I slabbed. Most of these I slabbed myself. All right, but um, I, I got slabbed anyway. They were my books. This was not slabbed. I didn't. I don't know how, if this is gonna come back higher or not. It might. It might. I just didn't like the centering and I didn't like the positioning of, of of that staple right there. Last time I sent. Uh, a book like this to get pressed it actually came back with damage right there by the staple it remained the same grade though um but um we'll see what happens very very curious what's going to happen when this one come back the reason i'm sending this one back and see the centering centering is right there is not all that great see that so they not great centering but this is the reason why I'm sending it. I can't get that hair out of there. Can't get that hair. So that's freaking CGC that left that hair inside there. And I want that gone. And I'm pretty sure, like, if I call them, I'm pretty sure that because I waited way too freaking long um, to call them. I'm just going to, you know what, if this comes back in a 9-4, it's, it's going to be a win-win. If it comes back in a nine four, or if I get if I get upgrades on some of these books, I'm expecting hopefully to get some upgrades. This would be a major upgrade uh, to a nine eight. If this comes back at a nine eight, the only problem I see with this book is it needs a drastic cleaning. You see that big time cleaning in the back. If they can clean that well, this will be a nine point eight. Because that's the only thing this book has, man. Uh huh. This one I've held, I've had this book for more than 20 years. Uh, and this baby, I'm pretty sure it's a 30 cent variant. This, out of the 30 cents, uh, is more rare than the number one that has the um uh, the price variant of the eternals and this is the first celestials and i am a big cosmic guy and that's why i ended up purchasing this book back in the day because it was the first celestials so this one's going to go in and get graded this one needs a, a good cleaning as well
see how look at that. Yep, definitely a good cleaning. This, if they clean this well, see, look at that. That is, that staple needs to be cleaned out. That's, I don't think that, is that rust? Hope that's not rust. But if they can do what they did with um, Iron Man 55 that went from a 9.2 to a 9.6, I think this one is a perfect candidate for that. Because there's no spine ticks on this baby. And this is for a book that's from 1976. This can go to a 9.6, in my humble opinion. This is another one, right? 9.4 Salmon number one. I think I can get a 9.6 on this. Can I get a 9.8? Maybe not. But I can get a 9.6. I am show of that. Look at that. This is a pretty book, man. This was a pretty book. I took this book from the newsstand. I grabbed this book back in the day 1989 1989 I took this baby from um, I think it was a base Fort Hood alright so Amazing Spider-Man 238 this one is one that I we talked about and I think this one can get a nice jump uh, we looked at this one before. Don't want to waste too much time on them, but... Um, yeah, this one I think can get a nice, nice jump. Uh, oh, my, 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 my. Hmm. Would that be worth it to send it like that? Yeah, look at that. Maybe it didn't look at it so well, huh? Might not send this one in. Looks really good. But I might not send this one in. See, look at that. That's two books that we took out of there. Can't. That, um. Yeah, those are two books. Definitely taking this one out because of that. Because of that. Mm hmm can't see that without this phone man I can't see that maybe this is the one that uh, see that's got a little little damage right there this is also a 9.4 but the spine is better off white to white Man, that was a bummer. That was a bummer. I thought that without that, that that, that had a shot at a 9.8. But no way. I think it's graded properly at a 9.4. That needs a cleaning. Cleaning. Yep, definitely needs a cleaning. This one can go up. Hmm. That's a possibility. Yeah. Alright, so I'll have to choose another book to send out to get pressed. Because uh, I'm not sending that other one. So I guess I'm going to send... Alright, let's send a uh, Blue Marvel number 2 then. We'll send a Blue Marvel number 2. It's got This one's got a uh, slight spine roll. Right there. Maybe they can take care of that. Even a 9.4 in this would be nice. Because I'm in on this cover price. Just four bucks plus taxes. Because this one I I bought from uh, from uh, that com uh, the the my, my comic shop, not my comic shop dot com. It's my 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 local LCS. All right, guys, so that's, uh, yeah, that's the, these are the 50 books going to 
CGC. They'll be going tomorrow. Later, guys. Hopefully, we'll get some more books for the um, for the grill project. Been waiting on them. A lot of books are going to be coming in. We got to get to selling. Got to get to selling. Haven't sold a single book from the grill project. It's all just money being put in. And um, I'll show you guys. These are some um, slabs that are going to my comic shop. This one's actually going. These are going to mycomicshop.com to get sold. Uh, a lot of boys books. Uh, sending another Wolverine. Let's go this way so you guys can see. Yeah, sending another Wolverine. This Wolverine now will put me in the black with my Wolverine uh, collections. I sold a 9.8 already and a 9.6. And then this one will put, put, put me in the black. And I will still have seven more. Seven more that will all just be profit pretty much. Um, the boys Stormfront. Boys number one. You know, you got to finance your hobby with the hobby is what I say, right? And, um, yeah, there's books that you don't want to get rid of. But um, you can't hang on to everything. You're going to have to. You're going to have to sell some stuff, right? So you can't. You can't hang on to everything. So I'm sending two of the Batman 92s um, to my comic shop to get. And I'm going to choose one more book to go as well. Um, it's probably going to be the Amazing Spider-Man 361 9.8 to go to get, um, to get sold. And this finances a lot of that stuff over there. Um, and then when the rest of the books come in. I have a 25 book lot of pretty decent books that are coming in um, that I sent to Mr. Kenra and then those are going to pay for uh, a lot of the grill project as well. Alright guys, have a good night.